Greetings and salutations my friends. Welcome to another video by me, Turing Glay, Berlin. Today I want to be looking at a season in Germany in Diablo 3. So I am going to create a new hero. I am going to create a crusader. I am going to have a female crusader, seasonal hero. And I am going to... So, we are going to create a new hero. We are going to create a female crusader. We are going to call it... Call her... Real. Artismism gives the opportunity to reap exclusive rewards, and that's one of the things that um, is so attractive, I think, about the season journeys, is that you get, you, there's the opportunity to get unique rewards very, very, very early on. I don't want to do the campaign game, I want to do adventure mode. Save and close, start. This is the quickest way of levelling up a character. Seasonal, character and you go into adventure mode and you do some of the early progressions. So up here, I right click, I look at season journey and it's given me it's like complete Nephilim Rift, complete five bounties, socket five gems into your gear. Um, in fact, I might just speed the video up a bit and do that. What to complete start a Nephilim Rift, come down here, click on the thing. You say, yeah, I'll do a Nephilim Rift. Off we go. Okay, so that's done. We get a, a fair bit of stuff there. We head back to town, uh, and we'll just see that. Make sure that we're wearing the best possible stuff that we can be wearing at the moment. Uh, after that, I th so that shield looks never. No, yeah. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's go to a vendor. Or well, we could go to. Well, we'll go to a vendor. I think. Oh, well, actually, we'll go to. We'll go to the Nephilim first and just close the lift rift. We'll get a bit of XP for doing that. Uh, he will give us the quest of some kind of thing, won't he? He needs a help. We will unlock... See the temp... I always go with the Templar. Inventory skills, let's go with the Templar. Uh, follower... No, I hope not like him. Possibly I always go with the Templar because I always go with intelligence characters. Uh, this is a little bit different for me. Taunt enemies or heal will heal. I don't think it really matters. It's not a big thing. Uh, that can go. Uh, that is slightly better. That is a lot better. Uh, that can go. That is slightly better. Uh, that is slightly better. And so essentially, every time you kind of like come back to town, you just change out all your gear if it's better. Really, the big thing is the weapon. The more damage you can get on your weapon, the, the easier life's going to become. So even this club's better. And it grants experience as well, so I'm going to swap it out for the club. Uh, those pants are quite good. It's quite a nice bow. I might just switch out to the scandal just simply because I've got a good, I've got a good bow there, and I can just give him the good bow, uh, and he can have, I don't know, poison dust. Might as well make good use of that poison bow. So that was the rift. Done. Complete five bounties. So bounties are at various points around the map. This one, oh, it's the Bound Charm, that's okay. Uh, so Israel is going to be the hardest one.
the turn tutorial. <sighs> so he's going to give us a Radric cash. So we'll take that off him. We've also got quite a fair few other things. <coughs> so let's see, what can we keep and what can we get rid of? So, anything that's not enchanted, I'm just going to get rid of. Mm, yellow gloves are better than blue. Yellow tunic is better than blue, so we'll have that. A yellow club, that one's 9.6, that one's 7.2, that's a bit rubbish that one. We'll take that yellow club. Uh, that's not very good. Uh, but, uh, oops, I don't think I should have sold those trousers, but it's not the biggest thing in the world. That flail's better, so we'll take that. Uh, those are better, we'll take that. Those trousers are better, we'll take that. So that's the legendary staff. That will give us it's a slightly better belt. You right click on your cash and you get loads of good stuff, including Kane's Fate. Kane's Fate is going to be very useful because it gives us um, XP. So those we click onto the blacksmith. And when his legend up, we'll be able to sell us things. Kane's Fate, I don't think is going to show. Yeah, it's. I need a, a son of a four. But um, if we look at the sandals, for instance. You get the Monster Kills Grunk 20 to 30 experience. That is the that's the thing you want from that. These look quite good as well. Ah, oh, flail, look at that. Flail or sword? The sword's slightly better. We'll go for the sword. Where's my shield gone? Is that the only shield I've got? Oh, it's a two handed shield. It's a two handed flail. Change this slightly, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Shield Bash is going to be rubbish with that, and it's the hammers we're aiming for. The hammers apparently are. Brilliant. I think we go back to the spear and we have the shield. I'm not a barbarian. They're the guys who can do the two-handed weapons. So, our skills are those, and we've also got one of these, a passive skill. We can have Fever, uh, or Heavenly Strength. I should have gone for Heavenly Strength. Well, next time, it, next time it comes around, I didn't realise that was a passive skill, but you know. Fever, so that's for one-handed weapons. Fever for one happened, heavenly strength for two-handed. Okay. <laughs> and our follower, we've still got the scoundrel. What happened to the staff? Oh, it was a plan, wasn't it? Uh, he can do some dirty fighting. that I want to do before I wind this video up. Uh, if I go into my season menu, there's three quests down here to kill Sidia, kill the skeleton, and 
and uh, I thought it was three, so I did a skeleton and somebody else. Obviously, there's only two. Um, but the rest of these level one objectives are all about kind of like leveling up. I might do that off camera, or I might just record it silently. I don't really know yet. Um, but there's some stuff on level this level that we can do. Um, I might have a look at that in the next video. Uh, so off to kill the skeleton king. Skeleton King is going to be in Tristram and he is in the World Curse. There it is. Okay, I'll just check, make sure that everything I want done for this particular episode is now done. Oh, I've gone back to town. Hang on. So, if I feed my season journey, uh, level five. I'm not even. I'm not even getting gems dropping yet. Uh, blacksmith to level ten. Jewels to level ten is grindy. Blacksmith to level ten is grindy. That's just kind of like throwing money at that particular job. Uh, same with the mystic. Uh, so they all need to get to level 10 and then reaching level 50 I just have to kind of like do lots of bounties I think uh, chapter 2 uh, and again I might just get myself up to level 50 before I start thinking about Nephilim Rifts on Expert uh, that needs level 70 that will just happen in the fullness of time um, Carney's Cube is the other thing I could try and go, go and grab uh, Reach level 70, uh, and these ones I need to be level 60. So, if level 50 is kind of like my next big thing at the moment. Uh, Transmogrifana, yeah. So, I mean, Carnage Cube, we don't, we're not desperate to go and get. It's a bit pointless getting it before we hit level 70. I don't think you can do anything with them until level 70. Um, so, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, follow or leave a like. Take care. Bye bye.